Hello and good morning everybody from the Mara Triangle up here in Kenya's Masai Mara Game Reserve. I'm Stefan Tabura. On camera today is David and we've come straight back to where you left us last night. Last night there was a male, two male lions and a female that were lying around a dead, a dead zebra and although we can't see any sign of the zebra where we are today, we've still got the lions. And it looks like they have finished mating. Yesterday they were a mating pair. We've watched this pair stand up and walk a considerable distance without the male trying to cover her. And judging from the feedback that, uh, that other field guides in the area gave me yesterday, they've been at it for quite some time. And lions will normally mate with one another for about a week or so. And then it sort of fades off and the male lion then carries on and patrols his territory and leaves the female to um, to basically uh, nurse, the, nurse the youngsters which take about 110 days to grow inside of her and she'll give birth to anywhere between two and six youngsters after 110 days in a secluded den site somewhere and uh, we'll see the cubs then in about a hundred and Oh, let me count now. So we see cubs usually from about three to four weeks. So what would that be? That would be, help me, Adev, 150 days, 160 days or so. So if about 160 to 180 days from now, we'll start to see this female lion's babies if she's managed to take. Um, and that's also a question. Although the lions here seem quite fertile, there's enough food going around. There's low stress and uh, what is quite nice is this lioness has some sisters lying around her and so it's not just this mating pair but it's also some more lions on this side of the vehicle and if I were to, to guess I would imagine that what this lioness is licking over here is the leftovers of um, of the, uh, the zebra. Yeah, there we go. So they've managed to almost finish the entire thing. That just looks like a piece of mane and head. So between this big male lion and yeah, you can see they're busy walking off now again. That lioness was busy looking. You can see how attentive the male is still. He just wants to make sure that she absolutely is not going to ovulate again. And he does that by tasting her urine. So every now and again she'll, she'll have a spray of urine and he'll then taste it. And he's got very, very sensitive chemical receptors in the roof of his mouth that is able to discern the taste of a, of, of, of well, I suppose, let me, let me try and rephrase that before I dig myself a bigger hole. He, uh, the chemical receptors in his brain will be able to analyze the hormone state in her urine. And from that, he'll be able to instinctively judge at a subconscious level, at least anyway, what, uh, what, if she's finished or not. Here you got some marabou stalks and a vulture and a, an Egypt or sacred ibis. And those are almost always associated with carcasses. <laughs> Ducati, you've asked me a nice question. Do do lion's hair go grey with old age? Um, that's actually a good question. I, I think if lions were let were left to uh, to age a bit, I think there's every chance that they could probably go, I don't think grey like we do, but definitely a bit blonder. I think that is exactly where the carcass was. I don't think there's much left with the head lying on this side. There are a few vultures there. Isn't that just a magnificent sight? Two lions and a vulture sharing the same picture. <laughs> 